Do you want to see the uh, keyword tool that Seb has been building? Yeah, sure. Yeah, so basically, uh, you know, for the moment, the, the job board is, is uh, um, you know, uh, is a, we try to see what people are interested. But uh, one of the good things about Rescore is that uh, Garrett has been working on resumes for some years. So we have a very, fairly large data set of resumes. Mm -hmm. um, and so one of the use cases we're looking at is, as you know, a lot of the jobs have been filtered by keywords. And so we want to see if we can help people have better keywords. Um, and so what we did is we created a word to vec um, representation of the keywords used in resumes. So would this be a service then for uh, employers? Uh, basically both. So I, I don't. Are you familiar with word to vec or? Uh, <laughs> Very vaguely. So we have a, <laughs> one of our technologies is like an OCR thing that they'll do a lot of. Uh, I'll hear more about it from you. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> basically, word to vec is a way to um, project words in 300 dimensions. So 300 sounds like a big number, but it's actually a very small number because basically we went from 200,000 to 300. So it's mm -hmm. a very a big reduction and basically what it helps you is because there's only 300 dimensions you're able to calculate distance between words so uh, let me okay. share my screen yep this is identifying like the familiar or words keywords that are similar yeah so it's typically the first work. example let's go for for example you so you said you work in rpa and so mm -hmm. what we're able to say first thing very basic and we look at rpa and yep. looks like enterprise architect BPM, so it looks like there's something funny going on because BPM has nothing to do with it. So maybe we can look at automation. Uh, integration, no, that's maybe more as a... Uh, how would you describe the RPA in, in more plain words? So actually a lot of these terms do work well for it. Um, so that's basically <coughs> the first level is yeah. really about, you know, I have a keyword and I, but that's more useful for employers where, for example, rather than filter people just because they just want to see one keyword, mm -hmm. like I just want to see Python. And that's the only thing I want to see. Yeah, right. To say, look, if those guys put those keywords, they also should be pretty familiar with uh, Python. Yeah. So that's like, the first uh, application. Angel or Flask or yeah, yeah, some one of these other things that's related. So or the like Python framework for it now. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. So, um, because it's a vector, you can also start adding them mm -hmm. or subtracting them. And so the calculated example in word to vec is Paris is to France what London is to England. Mm -hmm. So what you could do is you could do things like um, I take iOS, I subtract Apple, and I add Google, and I get Android. Okay. You see yep. what I mean? Yep. So you can do the same thing. I I take AWS, I subtract Amazon, and I get Google. Mm -hmm. And so what we're trying to see if, if this could also apply for job keywords. Like, for sure. example, help you um, transfer a, a meaning from one industry to the other. So I try to do it of looking at MBA minus RPA in manufacturing. Mm. So it looks like RPA is not enough of a well-known technology, so it didn't really give you anything much. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. But let's say that you want to go from junior to senior in manufacturing. Let's see how it works. So basically what it says is if you're more of an MBA in manufacturing and you want to go from junior to senior, mm -hmm. you are looking at sourcing, refining, supply chain. Yeah. Uh, procurement, yeah. All right. energy, procurement, take those kind of things. And this All is right. basically important because it helps you um, look for more jobs. So we could help suggest more keywords to broaden your search. Mm -hmm. Or it should also help you transition like um, knowledges from one industry for the other. So uh, the example I use, do I have it here? What was it the example I used in finance again? Um, so in finance, when you do machine learning and you do it in 
let's say that you are in finance and you do machine learning and you want to go in tech. You have a typo, machine learning. Ah, uh, yeah, won't work. Then this is the word you would use. You would use TensorFlow, NLP, Computer Vision, Keras. Mm -hmm. If you're doing the other way around, so if you want to go from tech to finance, then it will basically, in finance, the way of yeah. associating keywords, the notion associated with, with machine learning are much more uh, 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 high level. Yeah, like in fi finance, yeah, that, 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 those kind of things. So uh, in your cases, what we'll be interested to see is, in your cases, do you think this would be something that would be interesting for you? For example, you're more in, the, I would say RPA is more like tech, you're more as a SaaS. Um, industry? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like, yeah, I mean, more broadly, it'd be like, for me, it's like tech to manufacturing. Um, so let's see if it works. Because, because basically, the thing is, it's funny to do, you know, to know that Android is the iOS for on Google. That's very good. But let's say, uh, what kind of skills would you like to transfer? Management? Yeah, sure. Start. <laughs> So Let's try to see if it works. Yeah. I don't know if this helps. Budgeting, strategy planning, process improvement, sourcing, being manufacturing, improved productivity, negotiation, purchasing, planning, mm -hmm. contract negotiation. Does it, does, does it, does, are those come as surprises or is just think you pretty, I mean, well, it, pretty obvious? Yeah, they're, they're pretty, yeah, I'd say they're pretty, Obvious. I mean, it's a pretty broad term there. Uh, They're all soft skills, aren't they? Hmm? They're all a lot of soft skills, right? OPS. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, you, would it be interesting to 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 play around with it, Garrett? Maybe try to see uh, transfer the soft skill into hard skill, or that's what I'm trying to figure out. How do you get to? That normally, he should understand what soft skills are. Let's see if he understands it. And now you're cutting the chase. Now you're improving efficiency, improving productivity. Mm -hmm. uh, no, he doesn't know what hard skills are. <laughs> maybe he's trying to hard. Uh, maybe quantitative. No, that's something he doesn't like. He spelled quantitative. Oh, I did the typo. That's possible. I'm still French. How do you write it? <laughs> no, no, that is right. Uh, quanti. Oh, you need a TA in the middle. Extra, extra TA. Say, okay, come on, spelling mistakes. Hey, hey, look at that. So are you more interested by soft skills or hard skills, uh, quantitative skills? Oh, is this a, like a, <laughs> what, what I'm looking at right now? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, now I'm uh, actually uh, replace quantitative with uh, strategy. Sorry, I'm not very good at selecting stuff. So I don't know what the first one is. There's <laughs> <laughs> a problem it's, with, it's, with it's, deep it's learning. Sometimes likely. you don't really know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are very similar. I got the machine learning team here, of course, uses Jupyter as well. So I think these are just fun. Are you interested by machine learning or not at all? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously a really interesting technology. It has a lot of neat uh, applications. So let's see if you could apply machine learning and all that. I wonder mm -hmm. as you get... Okay, yeah, that... It's interesting how when you add additional uh, interests, it actually pops up new things that didn't show up before. Yeah, and that's Sorry. basically what what, what I, that's yeah. what that's we really, that's what I wanted to test, right? But I wanted mm -hmm. to test it with real cases, to sure. like to see if this would actually make sense for you. So basically, uh, what we want to do now is is we now that we've played around with it uh, a little bit, and I think you, you kind of get the gist of it. Is would you like what would you like to test? For example, um, if you're trying to you you're doing search and you are not finding very relevant job, this would be a tool that you would use to 
broaden your search, but still try to be relevant to what you like? Yeah, no, and because uh, I guess, you know, for example, if you're, I mean, because right now, you generally, you try to target industry, but it's hard to do that because if you put it in an industry, oftentimes like it narrows everything way down. Or you put in like a job, like a title, and then it's, again. Let's try to see if we could find, is there a job title you would like to aim for or a job title you would like to avoid? Uh, aim for uh, director of corporate strategy. No. Uh, I'm not sure the problem is we're doing director <laughs> of. Uh, hey, you could just, uh, let, let, yeah, just let's do corporate strategy. Because yeah. it has to be in the corpus. That's the, that's the thing. So basically, this is a test I did with a, a, a subsample of 5,000 resumes, but we have much more in the database. So that's currently your data set, right? It is from it's uh, a uh, corporate. Did I do another one? So apparently it doesn't have corporate strategy. Interesting. But let's, let's just add corporate. Yeah, oh, see, there's like all, yeah. Roadmap Road. showed up. Hey, all those tie in, yeah. p and huh. Quite, yeah. Let's see. Uh, would it be? You, would you have? Would you want to have some phone and finance focus, or not too much? No. <laughs> so let's put finance in negative to see if we're able to get rid of. Uh, it's funny because we put negative finance, but we have all those ROI coming up now. <clears throat> Is there another skill, for example, let's, let's say that you have that you'd like to see uh, used, or maybe we'll have to delete a couple of them to make it work, because it looks like we have a lot. Um, let's look, so manufacturing, usually there's always a lot um, of lean. Let's see. So lean mm -hmm. in manufacturing, So KZ in 5S in manufacturing, EFM, continuous improvement. Yep. Yeah, and so these actually, it's doing a good job of picking up things that, that do fit well. Like DFM um, is when you wouldn't think, like design for manufacturing, one you wouldn't think of immediately, but is a good fit uh, mm -hmm. for all these items. So I think the association seems to be, like it, it's, working in the real world example that's good um what else would be interesting for you uh, i'm not it's a bit out of my domain of expertise yeah, sure. so i will have to rely on your guidance <laughs> uh we manufacturing um yeah let's uh let's uh throw in growth as a positive growth yeah Yeah, we, we, is there, for example, is there a particular uh, domain in manufacturing, like healthcare or uh, space? Just try industrial. Industrial. And I'm going to have you try oil and gas after that, or oil. As industrial, yeah, it seems let's try oil. And what we couldn't do is because we're always able to look at synonyms of oil. We can see what we have. So we've got gas, oil and gas. So we actually have mm -hmm. oil and gas. So let's try this one in. NPI, uh, what is this again? Uh, that's um, new product introduction. Oh, new product introduction, yeah. Which is interesting, because that's actually like, that's actually a, a broad term, I see it. Uh, in tech and the current industry, but also elsewhere as well. Let's let's take a little more because sometimes uh, if you want to look at things a little bit more rare, you need to broaden your scope. Uh, is it big enough? Maybe I can because it's on my screen, so I'm okay to read it. Yeah, no, I can read it fine. Okay, so like, uh, let's see. If there's any keywords that seems to be a good fit for you? Uh, just in, is just in time, no? Yeah. 
MRP, yes. Oh, what is GMP? I'm not sure. I'm not sure about yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's a funny one. Uh, let's look. It's maybe a complete mistake. So GMP is like GLP. <laughs> has to be has to be a funny thing. It's probably I bet it's a, I bet it's a compliance. Yeah, it's, it looks like a compliance stuff. It's one oh. of your euro rules or something. I'm sure it is. <laughs> it's a it's mostly a US database, so uh, there shouldn't be too much your bullshit. <laughs> uh yeah. R and R rest and relaxation. Uh that's probably roles and responsibilities. Okay. Maybe. That makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> so is your like is your primary database then is going to be because you've got a lot of resumes to build um, as your database here, and that's what you're kind of doing your vector associations on, right? Is yeah. So so basically the way it works at the high level, or that how it's being explained to me, because of course I don't really understand how it works, is that it looks at the, the word, so it takes a, a series of words, it's like mm -hmm. it takes five, five it, in front, five back. It takes the word in the middle out. It looks at instances where there were similar words and okay. it looks like word that was replaced in it. So basically what it does is not going to give you the like new or rare words, it's going to give you the most popular words. So basically what it means <laughs> is that when you have GMP, then it Usually in the same position, you could have GLP, HCCP, CNGP, GDP, Compliance Federal, all those things. So it means that mm -hmm. the higher the score, the more intangible, in, okay, you, I can't say it, the word is. And also what it means is that if you're, what, it, what usually what it's used for is if you're typing, for example, you're working with a chatbot and you're asking, can I have milk? Then he will look at it and will say, if he doesn't know what milk is, he will try to find a word which is very close to milk. Right. Also, it's used also for context, but that's usually being able to get the context is harder. So we're trying to get a sense if our database is big enough to get the context. So we, we test it in the world, you know, the industries we know like technology, we've tested it and it's very good. Mm -hmm. But we wanted to see if in other uh, industries it was as good at. It looks like in your case, it seems to be working pretty well. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it and the words are coming back, uh, the terms come back, all make sense. And because the aim would be to that, if you come up with a word and you say, you say okay, I want to do lean manufacturing growth uh, in oil and gas, and I don't want to go in tech, then we'll, actually what it will do behind is, it will look for those words, but what we could do in the same time is also looking for those words also, mm -hmm. and come and say, you know, this, in this particular industry, those keywords are equivalent and they show also in more job ads. So it will help you to find more relevant job ads. Right. Actually, it's interesting because you notice uh, industrial shows up probably right in that list. Yeah. Which is my search right before. So it does equate those. That's nice. If this is a tool that you came across on jobs.rescore.com, do you think you would use it? Yeah, I definitely, I definitely give it a try. I mean, uh, you're always going to be limited. Well, not limited necessarily, but like the results that come back, right? Like uh, if you're getting like, like all these terms, like it's really neat and has a good tie. Uh, but like are the roles that you actually see at the end of the day interesting? Then that will really you know, drive whether you keep using it or not. Mm -hmm. Would uh, this be the kind of service you would pay for? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. I'm pretty cheap. <laughs> <laughs> so for your information, GMP is good manufacturing practice. Oh, wow. Well, I should have known that one, I guess. <laughs> so you, you did learn something today. See, I always focus on the great manufacturing process. <laughs> GMP, so. 